Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are doing well. So today is Tuesday and I've been invited to an event in Harrods by Initio Fragrances. I think that's Kati calling me because sorry about that guys. I had to go because Kati was calling. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I'm thinking to wear a black backless blazer. with this bodysuit it's kind of cute at the back i think that's nice with these jeans and you know i'm a heel girl i just i was just been speaking to kati she's like why don't you wear loafers and i was like i told you like i even spoke about it last time that i don't like loafers like loafers are not my thing at all luckily i did my hair already i feel like my hair there's not really much I can do to it. I feel like what I did earlier is enough. I can just do something like this. I really want this side to be like that. I'm just going to turn this on. And then for earrings, for shoes, I don't even know what I'm going to do. But I know that I'm probably going to wear my watch today. I'm going to do it like that. The jeans are a bit big, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, handbag. I think I'm going to do my Givenchy because it's just easy. So it's just going to be like a mono, like a simple fit. I'm going to bring some. I need to get a makeup bag. This is something that I realize I don't have. I don't have a makeup bag. Like, how can I not have a makeup bag? Like an everyday makeup bag that I can fit my makeup bits inside. I realised it the other day. Where's my hand cream? I just had it in my hands. Okay, I don't know where I put my hand cream. This is why, oh here. I hate rushing. The event starts, like, now, basically. Uh, it's in Harris, so I'm sure it's going to start on time. I look cute. I like my outfit a lot. Uh, in terms of heels, I might even do this caramelin pop of colour. Let me see, just to see what it will look like. Yeah, this is cute. I think I'll do caramelin on my feet. These ones, because they're actually quite comfortable. Uh, and I'll do this. Okay, quick fragrance of the day before I go is this oud for glory i mean i i love this fragrance it's explosive it's a sweet oud beautiful love it that's my fragrance for today and i think i'm also i'm going to top it up with my oud ispahan from dior it's just going to be a really nice oudy mix okay i'm now ready to go um yeah i like this this is cute i think i just need to add a little bit of color to my lips something a bit more pinky would probably look more nicer than what i'm wearing i don't know how i feel about this Where's the lip gloss? I was wearing this YSL lipstick. This is the old collection. But I think I prefer this because it's like more orange. And coral things just looks better on me, I think. Yeah, that's so much better. I like that. And I think I just need a little bit of highlight. 
just uh, just there, a little bit there. That's it. Okay, that's me done. No necklace today. I don't know where my necklace is, so it feels a bit cash, but you know what? It's fine. The trousers, the jeans are a bit big. But you know what? I like this fit. Okay, I'm out. See you later. Bye. Baby, you give me a bit later. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in high and dry. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're gentle and we in the rain. You're some kind of a <laughs> I miss her. Did you miss me? Did you? Yeah. Did you miss yeah. me? Do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Gatti. She's like arranging everything. <laughs> She's such a mum. Like even on holiday, you was, you're mom, such babe. a mum, babe. Oh she was like cleaning yeah. after me. <laughs> it's so cute. Thirty-eight. Yeah. How much is this? Two thousand five hundred eighty. Yeah. Let me try this. Yeah, <laughs> she said. <laughs> <laughs>
I just got back from the event. I'm sure you would have seen earlier. Um, it was really good. It was more like of a um, cocktail, drinks, champagne sort of thing. Really nice to see my babe's gatti. And I really loved my makeup today. I wish I showed you more of what I did. Like considering that I only had like 20 minutes, less than half an hour to get ready, I did a pretty damn good job. I also laid my hair today because I had it washed yesterday. I really want to do a silk press, guys. I was even talking about this on my Snapchat, but my hair at the moment is like here because I tried to straighten it the other day just to see what it would look like, but just the back. I liked it. My hair is quite thick, but I think I would want to add some straps. I want to have some layers of wigs of a uh, weave just for extra thickness and because I want it to be like a middle part I feel like well I don't know but I feel like the sides will be short so maybe I'll have to add some hair here but I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait maybe for a few more months to see to see if my hair would grow take some collagen and like things that will boost growth and stuff like that and see what happens but yeah I really liked this I really liked the way I did my hair today I I did something different, you know, with the caps. I did, I used the caps, I glued it, and then I cut it down, and I stacked the wig on top of the cap. And I feel like I like this better. And the even the wig, like, it's solid. It's really, really solid. This is so, so much better. I think it's better when the hair, when the, the wig glues onto something else, rather than your scalp or your skin. It's so much better. But yeah, the event was so, so good. We, after the event, we went to the fragrance hall, we sprayed some fragrances from Bulgari or Bulgari. We discovered another brand called Ella something, which you would have seen as well. And But the new Initio fragrance smells insane. It's, it's like a sweet, beautiful oud. It literally is given to buy. And it kind of reminds me of Holtain by Perfume de Mali. And Perfume de Mali Holtain is a sweet oud, but I feel like the Initio one, it has more of like sandalwood or something in it, which just adds a bit of sweetness and smoothness into it. So, so nice. And my fragrance there was Oud for Glory, which is by Bafa or something. You would have seen it earlier. I'll put it here. That, this is also a really nice dupe. And this is only 22 pounds, but... I feel like even with this, you don't get that, that je ne sais quoi. You know, the je ne sais quoi is really important in fragrance, you know. But anyway, let me go ahead and unbox this for you. So this is what they kindly gifted us at the event today. And I think it's a um, uh, discovery set for Initio. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. But yeah, it was really nice to go to the event and smell all the different fragrances. They had other fragrances from the house of Initio. So it was quite nice to smell them. Yeah, and I don't have a bottle of their fragrance. So it would be nice to have one so that I can talk to you guys about it. But in the meantime, definitely I want to try out the discovery step so we can see what's inside. So this is what it looks like. It seems like there are six 10 ml fragrances in here. So this is what it looks like. Gati is literally messaging me at this time. Um, oh, this is pretty, really nice packaging. Like so. And oh, how do you, okay. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, the sizing is perfect. There we go. This is going to be great for community, for traveling. This is great for traveling. I really, really like this because Perfume de Mali gave me, although I wanted a full bottle, but I think this is really good because this is a discovery set and I feel like this is going to be great to discover their scents, especially because it's my first time to try their fragrances. This way we can really know what the, the fragrance house is all about and you can go ahead and get the perfume that you like. So this is Rehab. So Rehab, according to here, um it doesn't say what the ingredients are so not the ingredients it doesn't say what the notes are but i'm just gonna go ahead and spray and tell you from what i what it smells like 
hopefully i can smell these because i sprayed so many things today i need to go and shower because it was so hot as well in harrods ah it was too hot like katina we were sweating i think everyone was hot i don't know what it was but the um, the area that we were sat in they had like heaters everywhere even in the actual store but the lady said that there's something wrong with the aircon in the stores today and they are gonna get it fixed but surely that's illegal you can't make people work i guess because it's not summer when there's no like aircon anyway this is rehab mm. oh so rehab smells very oriental at the same time it smells like green tea yeah at the same time it smells like it smells quite green maybe should i say and then we have mask therapy this sounds good i think this is the original bottles white yeah this is very musky this is very musky and almost powdery side effect let's go ahead and spray oh side effects reminds me of something so it smells like sugar but medicinal sugar like in a medicinal way so it smells like sugar but in a medicinal way yeah it's also quite oriental as well but it's very nice it's very very nice there's something about initia that i just find very clean that like their fragrances smell very clean okay this is oud for greatness uh but i don't know if this is the the one we went for the event today or if this is the original because they have original oud for greatness and then they have the one that's exclusive to harrods oh oud for greatness is just so good mm. guys i don't know how to explain this but this is like sweet oud beautiful sweet oud very sexy it smells like money this smells like fresh money you know like when you have fresh money coming from the bank yeah that's what that smells that's what this smells like really sexy really really sexy it smells so pure i love it and then lastly we have blessed baraka okay let's spray here blessed baraka blessed baraka smells like something i know it smells like Attends. wait it smells oody but how can i explain it but like sweet in a more feminine way like it has an oriental kick i don't know exactly what this smells like and i can't explain it it's very strange but in a nice way it smells really really nice don't want to wash off my makeup it's like one of those days although the makeup is pretty simple but it's just this is how I want my makeup to come out every single time. I think, what did I use today? I used my favorite Giorgio Armani foundation. I'm out, it's finished now. But this is my favorite foundation. I've been using this, one of my favorite foundations. I've been using this for more than five years. Love, love this fragrance. One of my favorites, one of the best color matches on me, number 10. This is what I used today. Very good foundation uh i think it retails for about 38 pounds or more i'm not sure but i love this and i used you saw what i used i used fenty beauty oh no it's broken i used my fenty beauty hydrating um primer and then this power grip primer by elf this is really good this is really good stuff like whenever i put this on my makeup does not move really really good but I want to try the Milk Hydra because this is the dupe for Milk Hydra. So I want to try that because if this is good, I know that the Milk Hydra will be even better. Because I have whole, um, oily skin, so my makeup doesn't really last. And usually it starts to break around here. But I I think I, I did my priming so well that I'm not getting any breakage like... There's no breaking at all, but you can see the oil build up here and on my brows. My brows always look shiny because I'm just oily. No matter how many times I powder it, it just doesn't work. But anyway, it's now almost half 11. I'm going to go and shower and get ready for bed because tomorrow is a filming day. And I really want to be on my A game when it comes to content. And um, 
but yeah guys your girl is changing you know your girl is changing there's a lot of things i'm changing myself and i want to actually stop drinking completely i'm not a big drinker i only drink pff, occasionally even when i go to events i don't want to drink because i feel like sometimes um like i want to give my best when i go places you know and i was even saying to katie whenever i drink i feel i feel it in my system straight away and i feel different it makes me feel different not in a bad way but it just makes me feel very lightheaded. like i feel alcohol straight away in my body so i was just like you know what i want to be as healthy and as clean as possible like i even stopped doing acrylics on my nails i just want to grow my own nails and start experimenting with natural colors or whatever i need to do like these type of lashes i'm not going to wear anymore i'm going to wear more natural um lashes i want to do my silk press on my natural hair like i just want to look do you know what i mean i want to be that natural black woman ish i want really nice clean makeup I'm not saying I'm going to go completely natural. Sometimes I'll still wear my wigs. But do you know what I mean? Like, I want to be more towards the natural side. Because I have good nails. Why do I need to wear fake nails? And I don't want to keep going under those, um, what do you call it? Um, those lights when you do your nails. And I feel like it's making my hands look darker. Because it does. It's so bad for you. It's making hair and my knuckles look darker. Even Kati mentioned that my hands look dark. And I was like, yeah, it's because I feel like those... Um, thing that we put our hands in it makes your hands go darker and they're cancerous as well like they cause cancer it's so so bad so this is why i really want to try and be as natural as possible take care of my hands do my hand care and stuff like that so that's the vibe anyway babes let me go and have a shower and we'll catch up later Mwah. morning guys good morning i hope you guys are doing well welcome back to the vlog uh today is tuesday and i this weekend my picture here fell off because it's been three years since i've been here two three four yeah three years since i've been living in this house in this house and the glue softened up and i found that one of the pictures had dropped i was out and it slightly broke at the bottom so i need to get super glue to fix it but i just went to the shops to argos and i bought the strips the command strips where is it I already started putting it back. The picture's here on the floor. I've got some command strips because these are what's best. So I think what I'm probably going to do is fill the rest of them. I'm going to also bring this down because I think it's starting to, the glue is starting to soften up. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then I think I'm going to, um, I need to tidy my house. I need to clean the house because I took up my hair. I washed it. I reinstalled this wig yesterday. So my room is full of hair. I think this is probably the best install I've done because I used a wig cap, like I mentioned yesterday. Um, but I'm thinking though to bring this up, but I think it might be too much. Um, but yeah, I like this. I was going to go back to my blonde hair. But I don't know, there's just something about dark hair that I've been loving. I've been rocking dark hair for the past, what, nine months? And I love it. I really do. I think maybe in the summer I will try and go back to colour. But for the meantime, I'm loving, um, I'm loving having dark hair. So I'm going to be putting this back. I'm, I'm going to try and, and put the pictures back. Grace, my XPA. She's the one who actually helped me to put this up. And um, yeah, I'm hoping I can do it without her. I went to the shop to buy this and I was meant to buy apple cider vinegar because I want to try drinking it in the morning, but I completely forgot. I feel like this thing is wonky. Is it me? Is it me? Am I the drama? Okay, that's better. Yeah, so I think now, what because i've already put four up i feel like this one is something is wrong here something is wrong i feel like the the one at the end is not straight or it's too out but i feel like this is the line because it's left a few marks anyway i guess we'll see
Okay, I think I managed to do it straight. I think it's slightly tilted, but it's better than what it was before. Um, to be honest, I think I'm going to think about changing this now because I can't, I really cannot deal with this thing falling off and things going, breaking. I, I just, I can't, it's put me off now. So I think I'm going to start thinking about what I can do in this area to like switch things up. Um... Because to be fair, I've been here for three years now and I want to think about how I could change things. It's not priority, to be honest, because the house is fine. Um, ideally, it would be nice to move. I would love to be able to move to like a two bedroom house. Um, but pff, renting in London, huh, it's so expensive um yeah like it's gonna be the last thing i do because as much as i would like extra space and stuff like that but it's not a priority right now like i was looking for a two bedroom flat in i'm scared this thing's gonna fall for a two bedroom flat in london right now you're looking at two and a half grand three thousand pounds this is without bills no utility no nothing no food and i think it's it's crazy it's crazy if you want to go private and rent it's ex it's really expensive like where i rent now is expensive but it's not as expensive as it would be if i was to go out right now to get a one bedroom flat because even a one bedroom flat is expensive the price that I pay, most people are just like, whoa, what? Because it's expensive, I'm not going to lie. And I was even saying to my friend, yeah, these are the times where I wish I signed up for a cancel flat. And because when I look at it, I see a lot of Nigerian girls, yeah, they have their cancel flats because they put their names from young, their parents. But I feel like with Congolese parents, so all of me eh, na kezu andaku, eh, but we didn't think like that Gondi people don't think like that honestly we don't think like that when it comes to my, these things Congolese people are quite slow because they think oh if you get your house if you put your name in a cancel flat they give you a cancel flat you're going to invite boys you're going to get pregnant you're going to do this you're going to do that where they don't they're not business minded they don't think oh you know what her having this cancel flat can help her in the future because she can buy it she can buy it she can live there with her family she can do all these things but imagine having a cancel flat from when, from when you were 18 until now babe you'll buy it for so much cheaper you know but we don't think i know so many people my age older who cry for not having a cancel flat because it's a hard it's hard. I know so many Nigerian girls and Ghanaian girls who have, who, who they've had cancelled flats for years. They've even bought it. Um, they've refurbished it. They now rent it out. They've bought another property. Like, it just helps you to get on the property ladder. It's so much easier. But as Congolese people, we don't think like that. We're so backwards. They always think of the worst. Congolese people always think of the worst. And I don't know why. But parents, now it's hard for anyone to get a cancel flat. It's so hard. It's so, so hard. And it's such a big shame because when it was easier for um, young people to get into the, the property ladder through the council, our parents were restricting us. We weren't allowed to. I know that I wasn't allowed to put my name on the list. I wasn't allowed to because my parents were like, why? Why do you need to put your name on the list? You know, this is your you're here, this is your home, you're not gonna move out, blah 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 blah. But they didn't think of the the benefits, they didn't think of the business side, knowing that having a cancel flat and you could have just refurbished it, buy it and sell it. Do you know what I mean? Or like or start renting it or whatever. Like we don't think we're not business minded people, and it's really sad because now I sit here and I think about it, I'm like, oh my god, if I had a cancel flat. I would have bought it by now. Do you know what I mean? I could have done so much with that cancel flat. I have friends who have cancel flats and their rent is so cheap. 
Like they're paying four, five hundred pounds, babe, for a, 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 a one bedroom flat. I wish this was four, five hundred pounds. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Honestly, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. The renting market is mad. I feel like if you still can put your name on the cancel list, do it. I encourage you to do it. If you get the cancel flat, find a way to speak to your parents for you to refurbish it, to, to find out what you guys can do to keep the flat if you're not going to live there. But it's so important to have a cancel flat. You don't understand. Like, you don't understand. You know, uh, I need to say this part in a lingala because my parents are not like message is not my parents. So, if you have a lot of money, you have a lot of money. Pour moi, na Azwanda ko, est très important pour ça la Congo. Pour biso ba Congolais, tout le monde a ma cambouté la musique, tout le monde a raté ma cambou business, tout le monde a kaka. So moi, na Azwanda ko, bon le bakaka. Eh, au comment dumba, au comment ça me bali. Bon, na bon, na bon. Na on comprend parce que ça ne va pas coller ça biso. Mais tout ça na mboka oyo. Il faut se photo intégrer. Mboka oba pesa ba na banda. Nga so ba pesa na zwa kanda kuna nga kala. Mais le na zwa kanda kuna nga kanso mais si na somba ngo et si na sala makambu belé. Mais ba parents ba boyaka, ou ko chako mpona nda kwa kanso pona nini. Ba msous ba waka, oyo mono bota mi awa. Pourquoi oke zon da kwa kanso? Eh, tantine, papa. Pourquoi pa? Ba oba vana nda kwa kanso, ba zaba nyama. Yo moko vana nda kwa kanso. Tse ko za nyama. Po, e yana sans te. It doesn't make sense at all. Some people, or some parents, I'll just say, they'll say, oh, how can a child that's been born and raised here get a cancel flat? It's an embarrassment. Some Congolese people say this, and it's like, how? You yourself, you live in a cancel flat, so you're an embarrassment. You're, are you an animal? Are you a dog? Because <laughs> I don't get it. How can you be embarrassed for your child to have a cancel flat? Or you're preventing her because you think she's going to get pregnant, because she's going to invite boys. That means you don't trust the education you gave your child. It's, 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 it's simple. Ça veut dire que vous avez confiance et vous avez confiance que vous avez confiance. As parents, vous avez confiance que vous avez confiance. C'est important. Si vous avez confiance que vous avez confiance, ok, le système est bien pour ça. Si vous avez confiance que vous avez confiance, vous avez confiance que vous avez confiance. 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 Quand le euh, gouvernement peut avoir quitté son prix, son monde a commis près de son bandeau qu'on a eu. Au moment où il y a un monde qui a bénéficié dans ma cambo, c'est important. Tu as besoin de toujours souffrir à quoi foutre la rente. Il y a mille et quelques. Pour nous, il y a des gens qui ont fait son bandeau qu'on a cancel. Mais si on pose un bandeau qu'on a gouverné, il y a des gens qui ont fait son bandeau qu'on a fait son bandeau. Il y a des gens qui ont fait son bandeau qu'on a 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 fait. Donc, <laughs> I was just saying, mm, they don't give houses anymore. Whether you're pregnant, whether you're disabled, whether you're, like, your condition has to be really like, do you know what I mean? For them to give you something. But right now, they don't give houses anymore at all, at all. And like I said, I have friends who have cancel flats and they're, they're happy. They're paying a good rent. You can issue a house. You can do whatever you want to it. You can, you can save money. You can buy it. Is that it's so so important like african parents we need to stop restricting our kids from when the, the child can put their name onto the cancel do it to be honest i i know people are still getting cancel flats outside london one of my friends just told me that has one of her younger sisters got a flat outside london in like bedfisher or something like that and but she put her name on the list years ago when she was at uni so 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 if you still can i still i i say do it because it's important unless you want to buy fresh from the you know what's out in the market and stuff like that but i think it's ideal to have a cancel flat because first of all the, the the rent is cheap you can get apartments cancel flats now as well so you just never know try your luck and see what you can do but i know when i tried at a uh, later age they were just like nah my friend go out and rent yeah they were like go out and rent so that's why I had to rent my place, you know. But and obviously with the cancel, it's a long procedure. It's a long, long. So when I check on the law, but person that will lose, let me see in five years, in six years. Oh money, it's for to permit it. But I'm not saying that because it's very important because I'm not that kind of number one. So because we want that kind of a studio, to flat, one bedroom flat. Eh, I'll soon bango. 
Et ça bien pour nous. Mais si tout le monde a c'est important que vous ayez confiance, une éducation, ou que vous ayez une bonne éducation. Comme parent, as parents, c'est important de trust l'éducation que vous donnez à vos enfants. Vous savez, parce que je sais que so beaucoup de parents pensent qu'un enfant vit par eux-mêmes. Je ne sais pas pourquoi les Africains sont tellement obsédés avec leurs enfants qui restent à la maison jusqu'à ce qu'ils soient mariés. Je pense qu'en Afrique, ça fonctionne. C'est bien. It's great for Africa. It's great because life is hard. You don't have the finances. You don't have the freedom to go out there and find a job and do all these things. And we're here. I feel like the lifestyle is completely different. It's important for especially women to live alone. I would say even live alone even one year prior to you getting married is important to live by yourself because you learn how to pay bills you learn how to manage your money you learn how to manage yourself i feel like one of the reasons why relationships marriages don't work because you're both coming from your parents the man's coming from the parents home the girl's coming from the parents home no one knows how to manage anything because tell me what are you managing in your house You're not managing nothing. Your mom and dad, or your mom, or your dad, whoever, they're managing everything for you. You don't know anything. And I feel like it's so important because you mature so much. You know how to do your groceries. You know how to, like, you know how to manage. Manage everything, everything. It's so important. I don't know why we're so obsessed with the idea of keeping our children in our home until they get married. Like, you're not teaching them anything. It comes to a certain age, you've taught them everything they need to know. Everything else is just extra. Now you have to let them to be free, to live their life, to find out how to be themselves, to know who they are. Because when you're living at home, you don't know who you are. You don't know. And as parents, you have to trust the education that you've given to your children. Trust what you've showed them is what they're going, the path they're going to follow.